So we're trying to replace the batteries and because these rolls have been moved around um, the Axis 4, 5 or 6 don't have brakes on them so they may have drifted or shifted a little bit and uh, we can see that fault when we press the dead man switch we fall it in and we get this pulse mismatch. We can also see that when we go to position and in the world we have nothing. So XYZ are blank. We go to joint, we have all of our joint angles. What we're going to do is we're going to jog each axis and just set it to the zero degree mark. It's not required, but in case something goes wrong, it's in position to be remastered. So if you try to jog now, press and hold shift and reset, we can't clear this fault. So what we have to do is we have to go into menu, next, we go to system and we see this master cal is available. It's only available when there's something wrong with the encoders. A pulse mismatch, mass spring is gone, or it's not calibrated. We press enter here, there's an F3 button that resets the PCA, the pulse code alarm. So reset, yes. Now I can jog. So again, we're just doing this uh, as a precaution to move all of these back to the zero degree angle. So typically we want to be within one degree. We can go in and set this all back to exactly zero if we wanted to. So now we're very near the zero degrees. What we want to do is that the robot is uh, visibly near the witness marks that are scribed in the arms. So now if you go back to position you know we're near the zero degrees we double check the witness marks that we are physically very close to them we can see in world we still have nothing and it says road must be calibrated so again to calibrate the robot it has to be mastered right now the robot doesn't know if it's mastered or not so we go to menu Next, system, master cal, we're going to go to 6 and say calibrate. It says robot not calibrated, robot not mastered, group 1. We do know that it was mastered the last time around. We know it did not lose mastering because we didn't get the not mastered alarm. We only got a pulse mismatch alarm. It's a big difference. So we know that it's mastered because we know the zero angles line up almost perfect to perfectly where it should be when it's mastered correctly. So to tell the robot that it is actually mastered, we have to go into the variables. We do that by going F1, variables, shift, and cursor down to the DMR group, which is the default motor group. And press enter, press enter again. You can see the very first one, um, it says master done false. We can simply say it is true. And if it is mastered, it stays true. If it's not mastered, it knows that it goes back to false. Then you have to go back to the mastering procedure. Now we can go back to menu, system, master cal. Now we can say calibrate. Yes. And you can see now the robot calibrated itself. Uh, it knows it's this far off the zero degree. And if we reset and shift, we can verify that everything is working properly by going to position. Now we have coordinates in the world system, XYZ, yaw pitch and roll. And we can jog in world and simply make sure that the uh, what is moving into the expected direction. So positive x, it should go up this way. Oh, it's in singularity, so we have to uh, just change one of the joints. So let me go back, whirl. So we say positive z would go up. Negative Z should go straight down. Positive X should go straight out. Positive Y should go to my left. 
Well, it was negative y. Just checking if you're watching, <laughs> paying attention. So ideally, you could drop this robot near a known physical perpendicular edge. Uh, so you could bring it down almost to the table and just jog back and forth and see if we retain the same gap from the table to the edge of the faceplate across each direction so that we're not in some odd angle where the masking is off. So this is a fairly good sign.